Um, so yeah, I um, couldn't find my Lego Star Wars one of this, so that's the quack. But it does include an exclusive minifigure of the old 501st design, but with the new helmet and the new face, so it's the most accurate. Um, Alright, and here we have the blue stripe going along the middle of these things around the toe, and same on this side, paying attention to accuracy there. The legs do have all four, I mean, all, all three on each side, but all six um, of the joints. And here um, I have that type of hinge. And then we also have the pole holding it up in the middle. Cannon is decently long and uh, it sticks out like it's supposed to a bit there. Uh, we have the um, antennas in the back. Back around here we have the little pack things, and around here we have an interior space for the um, controls. There's also the 501st logo on the side, and as well as the white stripe going down the middle. We have the arrow just resting on um, a stud and a smooth stud tiled off. Um, we for the arrow down the middle we have. Um, yeah, this thing is massive. It's about two feet, including the antenna. And for here, what I did is I used these pieces. So it's like a studs, definitely studs not on top, more like studs upside down. Um, and then um, moving around, um, just showing some of the techniques I used there to make sure that these are very stiff and they don't fall off the side armor panels and uh, oh, oh. yeah this is the UCS ATRT or my UCS ATRT um I really hope I get somewhere in the top three because I really worked hard on this I spent not in one day but probably about seven to eight hours in between I know I spent at least six but anyways um, like and subscribe, more content coming soon. Thanks, bye.